Hey, this is a tricky tutorial. A very, very tricky shot. That is the defensive backhand slice going cross. If we dive into the technical stuff here, first thing I want to mention is that the basic technique of this shot is almost similar to the version going straight. We have a very, very cool long tutorial about that. You can hit the, the link and, uh, and see that tutorial as well, because many of the basic movements is in that tutorial. I won't go into details with all of that stuff here in this tutorial, only focusing on the differences between the straight version and the cross version. So you really need to go down in your lunge, be down with good balance, and then you can do the strokes in this position instead of going like this. Can you see the difference? Up here, this is where we want to be. That is about the footwork. Have low gravity, okay? The grip is almost similar to the straight version as we talked about. The straight version has it on the small edge with this position where you rotate the wrist this way so you will get a more clean angle as you can see here. But if you want to do it cross, we need to rotate the grip just a little bit more up on the side to the grip. And we also need to change the wrist position also just a little bit. So instead of hitting it straight like this, we move just a little bit more, so we slice it even more, so a much more cut. You can try to do the, the similar thing going on with the forehand cut. So if you cut it a lot like this, it will go cross, right? So if you do the forehand cross down here, it will go cross with an angle. It's the same thing going on with the backhand. If you hit it like this, the backhand slice, it will go cross. That's different between these two different different stroke going straight or cross. So this is straight, this is cross. Straight, cross, straight, cross. So you rotate the grip, rotate the wrist. And the last thing, a tactical thing here is that it's okay to put it a little bit into court with some more power. Instead of doing the very, very slow but short version, do it with a little bit of a power into that zone, which makes it more tricky for your opponent to put you under pressure or to do a very sharp net shot. Go out there, practice it many, 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 many times. It takes a lot of time to do this shot properly. And remember just to be loose, relax in your arm. Don't tighten up everything because you want to hit it. You need to swing and slice, swing and slice. That's an important last tip in this tutorial. See you guys in our next uh, detailed tutorial. Have a great day. Hey.